There, there are several starting points, and uh, well, I, I really want to mention this first and very important starting point that is related to this care of uh, um, professional care, because it's very so difficult to raise money in Romania as a Romanian filmmaker. And I thought of uh, building up a sort of project uh, um, with no money, I mean, making films with no money. And I uh, came back home and I, well, during a week I was thinking, thinking and thinking, rethinking uh, everything and um, thinking of the fact that I have some friends, uh, actors and uh, um, DOPs and so on, maybe everybody will get involved in this sort of underground kind of cinema. I mean, not in style, but uh, in, uh, 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 I mean, in this question, this relation with the money and, uh, I mean, with no money, films with no money. So I wrote these six stories from the Bucharest suburbs, six love stories from the Bucharest suburbs, and every story uh, focusing on a different kind of love. So you have this uh, uh, love for your fellow man, you say like this in English, like it's, which is uh, the death of Mr. Lazarescu. And the next one I would like to, uh, to do, it's uh, the love for uh, love in a couple. In fact, a story of, about adultery and so on. And uh, this was a start. The other start was the fact that I was like... Um, in 2001, in 2000, in 2000 I had this not a disease, it's called a syndrome, Mallory Weiss syndrome. In fact, a neighbor, of Lazarescu's neighbor, had this. Uh, I vomited blood and I lost like two liters of blood uh, in 2000 and I was uh, in hospital. Uh, it was a very strange experience. And uh, after this experience I had, I spent a week I thought it's very serious, but in fact it is not serious. It's just uh, you know a blood vessel who is uh, who breaks, and uh, it's not so serious. And after this was um, hypochondria starts up, so I got really scared. I was a period, but I, everybody was saying you know it's a hypochondria. It's no, it's not serious. What you are because I thought I have cancer and things like this. Very serious disease and uh, was just before uh, the selection in Cannes in 2001 I was selected my first film was selected in uh, director's fortnight in Cannes and uh, I I how to say I enjoyed the festival but I didn't really enjoy it because I was thinking all the time of this of cancer it was very hard because you know you have all these parties in Cannes and you have all this very extraordinary French cuisine, uh, good food, uh, scampi and uh, oysters and everything and I couldn't eat this. I just, I, I was asking all the time for uh, beef uh, grilled, uh, no uh, fat uh, and vegetables, boiled vegetables. It was a, a nightmare, I assure you. So it's a, and um, during all this period after after two thousand one, I was like was like two years of uh, at least one year and a half of depression. It was a big, very big, very important depression. I was thinking of cancer. Then after I passed to uh, this. Uh, heart diseases and then uh, uh, of nervous system and I, I stuck on this uh, nervous system disease and ALS, you know, this very serious disease and because I had this um, muscle twitchings and uh, I was surfing on internet and I was a nightmare and uh, finally I decided because my wife insisted I was uh, going to see this uh, psychotherapist and I visited her, uh, was a woman, uh, during eight months, and I, I uh, little by little, I, I, I recovered. But all, all the, the informations I, I, I um, 
got from this period, um, from the internet and from these medical um, uh, books, um, I use it in the film. And uh, this was the second starting point. And the third starting point was uh, this uh, case, was uh, the story happening in uh, Bucharest in the mid 90s. As a patient, was, uh, the ambulance came and took a patient, and um, the patient was uh, refused by six uh, different hospitals. And uh, the nurse from the paramedic from the ambulance decided to let him in the street, and he died in the street. So it was, uh, well, it's, I don't know the story um, in the details, but um, what interested, really interested me was the fact that uh, uh, well, I think, I, and I'm still thinking of it as an accident, but I was uh, somehow um, revolted, I don't know, um, by the fact that uh, was just, I mean, the paramedic was uh, the single person who was found it guilty. She's in prison right now. I thought it's couldn't be so simple. I mean, it was uh, where, where like six hospitals refuses. I mean, they didn't, in my, I mean, I was thinking that they didn't uh, uh, act uh, normally, I mean, in uh, conform with the uh, medical deontology or, so I, 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 I I was uh, thinking of, uh, but even m myself, I mean, uh, you are reading uh, things about this case, you are um, watching uh, uh, the story of the news, the TV and so on, but I, I, and I couldn't and I cannot help myself thinking in terms of film. So for me, it was like a very good story for a very good story to story to tell, uh, not from the ethical point of view, but uh, it, from this point of view of uh, the, the drama, because it allows us to to skip this model of three acts and uh, two plot points and things like this. So it, to repeat, in fact. Uh, uh, the same story that, that Lazarescu is at home and uh, is waiting for the ambulance, and then after, in every almost in every hospital, the story is repeating, repeating, repeating till the end. I, I laugh very much. <laughs> well, it was not uh, very funny uh, during the shooting, but uh, there are some moments where I I think they are funny, but it's not uh, the how to say it's not uh, it's not a comedy. You can say it's black humor. You know, I was really uh, surprised in uh, Cluj in Romania. There's this uh, Transylvania Film Festival, International Film Festival, and the, the audience were, were, uh, was really. Um, they they really laughed. They laughed a lot, a lot, a lot. But it's different because they, you know, you, if you hear, I mean, the nuances you got from the Romanian language, it's are, are really uh, special. It makes you uh, make make that makes you laugh, but not so. I mean, it's not a laugh like you know, you don't. Well, I don't know, but you don't laugh like but. Uh, Monty Pythons, or but not even Monty Pythons, but you know there is this uh, comedies like um, Louis de Funès, or I don't know uh, uh, Laurel and Hardy, or uh, this kind of humor. I wrote the script together with a friend of mine, Osvaldo Dulescu, and uh, we spoke a lot about the about the, the 
relation that uh, exists between a doctor and the patient uh, about, in fact, about the uh, way we act, not as patients or doctors, or I don't know, but uh, the, the uh, tendency we have to uh, dominate the others. What I'm interested in, really interested in, is to... I was thinking uh, of what is cinema for me, because uh, I really like to paint, and I, I, and I started by my being, my studying, uh, painting, and so on, and I like to paint, and I like to uh, take uh, all, all the decisions, uh, not to... In cinema is different, uh, and I was... I have this in my mind, I'm thinking all the time, why film, why making films, and so on. There are some there are some things you cannot say you cannot transmit otherwise than I think than through this uh, very uh, uh, controversy uh, art form which is cinema and uh, I was thinking of a definition of this and in fact I now I I have no definition but I think of cinema as a I think cinema is a testimony. You know, there is this very um, famous quote of uh, Jean-Luc Godard, which is, uh, uh, cinema is uh, the true, uh, 24, the truth, the truth, 24 uh, images per second. And uh, then came Fassbinder, who uh, said cinema is uh, a lie, uh, 25 images per second and so on and well I, I was thinking of this too because I am very much interested in uh, in in uh, understanding what is true and what is lie I mean things related to uh, I, my own uh, life existence and, and so on but I think in fact that the cinema has nothing to do either with truth or with uh, untruth uh, or and I think cinema has to be, anyway, in my case, has to be a testimony. It's a testimony is, a, is subjective. Whatever you do is subjective. It's your point of view. It's uh, the way you, uh, uh, you, you understood, you uh, perceived... Uh, a certain and very precise event. It's. I am uh, thinking of the world, not just of the of the world of cinema, as a very, very, very huge um, building, a block of flats, you know, with uh, lots of lots of lots of windows for everybody. And I think uh, it has to be like this. I mean, you are watching the world through your own window. The world, it's. Look, it looks like this, and you, as a filmmaker, filmmaker, you have to be interested in delivering the. I mean, with every detail, every details, the uh, what you, what you have seen, what you, uh, the way you 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 perceive the reality, your own existence, and everything. I mean, it's not a question of uh, uh, being. Uh, um, it's not about truth or lie. It's about uh, a testimony. It's the world. I see the world like this, and maybe uh, further on, if you um, analyze it, uh, maybe you will find that at the end uh, you got a touch of this your own personal uh, truth. I don't know. was all, or almost all in the script, but not all in the script. I mean, uh, questions of uh, Im improvis improvisation, so things like that. no, there are no such things. There are some proposals coming from, coming from, from the actors, and uh, if they were um, in the, uh, how to say, in the line of the character, I, I, uh, um, I used to accept these, the proposals that are coming from the actors. We used to write, and we, we wrote 
to three scripts for different directors, me and Razvan, and they, they told us that we, there, are, there are too many details in the scripts. Uh, but in fact, I, well, I don't think so, and I am very interested in details, in every details. And uh, when we wrote the script, we, we put everything inside. So it is very funny because I am thinking of this film as a film about, about lots of things, but about uh, the lack of communication, the, the, the miscommunication, the misunderstanding. And uh, it was very funny because when I finished the script and I spread it, I gave it to the actors and to everybody. But the actors, this was very funny because everybody was coming up with um, his character and was uh, in, I mean, was a different character. Everybody understood different, differently what, I, what we wrote. It was very hard to, uh, and we, we worked a lot. We had like three weeks of uh, rehearsals before the film, before starting the, the, the shootings. And then after, before every shooting, we worked out, worked up, worked out. Okay. Worked, uh, the, the, the choreography of the camera and the act, every actor, every character when it enters. And it was really, really, really a tough, tough, very tough job. But I accept the proposals, uh, if the proposals are... are um, um, not helping the character, but um, adding some personal, something personal. Because it's, you know, you can imagine, uh, and when you write a script, you imagine the film, you have, it, you, you have the, you, everything in your head, or almost everything. But you cannot get this, uh, how to say, uh, uh, effect effect of reality uh, if you don't pay attention to the uh, well, the actors in order to get something of their own uh, sensibility and uh, um, they have to be uh, somehow uh, as far as I'm concerned they have to be themselves in, I mean, doing this job. I mean, they are not doctors, but now they have to, be. I, I try to do everything. I mean, it, it is uh, very much related to the, it is improvisation, but it is not, uh, it was what I really tried to, to to get was, uh, uh, and it was very hard to convince them to be themselves. It sounds very, maybe it's not, it doesn't sound uh, usual, but I wanted to have them, I mean, I, I did the cast of the film, and I choose them uh, uh, accordingly with the vision I had uh, of these characters. I wanted this, uh, doctor to look like this and to have this and that and I, I, I choose the, 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 the actor and then after we worked a lot to, for, for keeping them uh, as they are it was not about compo composing a role it was about uh, express, expressing their own feelings and to be themselves they are not doctors but now uh, Imagine that you are a doctor, but you are, it's just you, it's n not uh, the character, it's you. I mean, I want to have you in the film, not uh, to have you building up a character. So I, I, maybe, it's the, uh, maybe it's not, uh, it's unorthodox for a director to think like this, but uh, I'm really I'm not interested in performances. I'm interested in uh, getting the right note. So it, it's the same for for the for the um, this black comedy. It's, it could be understood as a black comedy, but I was not interested in the com in the, in the comedy. I was interested in the absurd of the situations of all the situations, and uh, it is funny from time to time. It is. 
uh, it's you know if you have if you but it is it, it's not possible to have the right distance in your everyday life the events uh, you got in uh, are uh, influencing you and you cannot you cannot judge clearly what's happening around you you can i mean it's very hard so uh, but in film in cinema it's it's easier you have this distance because you are watching a film you are not in the film even if you identify yourself with some characters but you can and i think this is the most important function of cinema mm -hmm. because i think things have to be uh, functional I think in terms of Bauhaus, if you want, you know, to function, function, have to be, they have to be functional. Cinema have to be, has to be f f functional, I think. And uh, what I wanted, in fact, and uh, to, to, to get in the end was a, a film about uh, the disappearance, the extinction of a human being, of an anonymous human being. Uh, it's true we played with w words, we played with names and these anonymous have very big important uh, renaissance name uh, like Dante, you know, it's Dante Alighieri and is related with this story of the voyage through Inferno, Paradise and so on but this is what I wanted to, 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 to have in the end because I'm, uh, because I'm very scared Yeah, there is a chapter in Bible in the uh, San John Gospel, and uh, I, I, uh, I was, um, you know, it's not, I was thinking a lot about this, about the fact that Jesus wasn't there when he died, and when he came, he was already dead, Lazarus, and uh, he resurrected him, and so on. We know the story of the resurrection. We don't know how he died, and this is a proposal uh, of. Uh, uh, you know, on a hypothetic uh, death of Lazarus. Mm -hmm. I mean, the death in indifference. But I think that we all, all, all of us die in indifference. Uh, of course, it's some uh, some people who are paying attention, but um, it's um, uh, it's the fear of. Um, death as fear of a separation that uh, haunts me mm. and uh, the fact that the, the, the very common fact observation banal thing uh, that it is this the fact that you die alone you you are not accompanied by nobody i mean uh, um, going through this experience hand in hand with your beloved ones it's uh, this is a thing that really uh, it's not a, a normal uh, fear it's it's I mean, it's not because I'm afraid of spiders, for example. But it's not the same thing. I'm afraid of taking the plane, and I took the plane uh, for coming here in London. But it's uh, it's it's something that uh, um, uh, the experience of this of this uh, uh, fact, uh, thinking of it, it makes me uh, thinking of. Um, uh, cinema in in uh, very extreme terms. So I I I could n I don't know you know never say never. But I think I could never do I could never make a film about uh, um, I could not make a, an easy film. I mean easy to digest, uh, entertaining, and so on. There are some uh, some some journalists even in Romania make some comparisons between um, this kind of uh, they were re referring uh, to the dialogues and the dialogues in 
they send dialogues in uh, Eugenio Nesco's mm -hmm. uh, plays, and it, it's uh, it's different because uh, the absolute in Tionescu it's uh, obvious, and here it is not. I was having this discussion with uh, a friend of mine about the fact that, in fact, the, f the film is, is so realistic. Uh, I mean, the expression, the style, and uh, the way the actors are acting, it's so realistic, so very uh, similar to the real life. And, uh, in fact, we uh, played with symbols, and uh, we have this uh, symbolic level also. Even if said Dante or Lazarescu, Lazar, and at the end is Virgil, the last, uh, uh, the, the guy who was supposed to bring him to the doctor, uh, Angel, uh, the last doctor, so it's the angel, and so on. It's, uh, I was joking, it's a happy ending. But in fact, I was uh, very much interested in these signs you got on your way, you know, in your. There are lots of signs. I think there are lots of signs. Very hard to to decode, mm. but uh, there are lots of signs that are telling you that uh, it will happen that or it will happen this. Mm. I am thinking in these terms because I'm also interested uh, of uh, this um, occult sciences like uh, astrology and numerology. I am playing with this. I'm somehow afraid of. Um, so I, I, I am interested in uh, premonitions, mm -hmm. you know, and we played with these premonitions during the whole story of Lazarescu's extinction. And, you know, like at the beginning there is this dialogue at the phone he has uh, with his sister and you have this wash uh, machine at the left side of the screen and it's... Uh, so very, very much related to the the CT scan, you know, this uh, star gate he passes through. It's like it, visually, it's uh, and it's also a machine. It's, uh, it's that his neighbor was coming with the drill machine, and the doctor from the CT scan is telling him you are going to bring him and drill his head. So there's this little sign, and lots of others. Very, very. I, I put it here at left and right in the film, in the actions, in the dialogue, and in. The, everything so uh, playing with this but uh, uh, thinking that in a perfect world created by God I, I, I really like to believe that there is a God who created a perfect world um, in a perfect world cre created by uh, God, uh, everything is related to everything. So you can play, uh, I mean, without thinking that this is, in, has nothing to do with that, uh, you know. But, uh, you know, it's very funny, and, uh, very, because I, 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 I really like to think that there is a God who created the perfect world, but at the same time I'm, I'm feeling very comfortable when I'm reading um, books about um, physics and uh, mathematics and, uh, I mean, uh, perfect, the perfect sciences. I'm feeling very much comfortable when I'm watching a documentary about the star, the, 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 the solar system, for example, the planets and everything, or about the, this, the, the uh, um, atoms, you know, and molecules to see this, how it's working, and now, or how is it working a, a tissue, a human tissue, you know, how is it working, the, the cells, and how uh, I'm feeling very much comfortable with this than with uh, uh, a sermon, uh, a Christian sermon or whatever. Uh, for me, uh, the, the expression of this perfect creation is the the, the image of the world delivered by the uh, um, uh, ra rational sciences, not uh, by the uh, um, theological sermons and uh, preachings. You know what I mean? It's, it's like this, and I, I do. So, if it is like this, I believe in in this God. 
because it's really perfect. I mean, it's really beautiful to see these images of the solar system and all the things related to this, I mean, like numbers and the relation between the numbers, the distances and the, the attractions and forces and uh, everything, the chemistry and so on. I just read a book about uh, on, on on neuropsychology and uh, finding out that um, almost all the f emotions are related to some chemicals in our brain. This is really it's scary. In the same time, it's um, for me. It's uh, it makes me feel uh, really comfortable with it because lots of things are. We 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 uh, succeed in faking up or, or lots of things, and um, people are speaking about love and about uh, this very important and strong and uh, very culturally heavy uh, concepts so easily. But I love you. What does it mean? You want my money? You want my body? You want uh, mama? You want uh, friend? You want uh, what it is? In fact, what is hiding uh, behind this feeling, which is love? That's why I was very happy when Alexander Payne said uh, about uh, the this um, the selection in Cannes this year that uh, we've seen lots of films uh, films about different, uh, very different subjects on different subjects but no film uh, uh, about love. And I was happy and I took it as a compliment because this is what I wanted to have as uh, as a reaction. Like, you know, people uh, quitting uh, the uh, cinema thinking of the fact that maybe it is like this. Maybe there's no love. Maybe there's no interest in uh, the, uh, your uh, fellow men's uh, um, sufferance. You know, and uh, I think if, if I mean, if if you are paying attention in restituting the, your own vision of the world, maybe you will succeed in raising the right questions. And I think this is cinema. I mean, raising questions, not uh, delivering answers, and being so important about uh, you know, it's I mean, it's pitiful somehow because it's. Uh, the, the the life is so short, and uh, uh, this model we live in, uh, the, the 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 competition um, uh, competitional model we live in, this is really pissing me off. You know, in Romania, it's so strong. You know, it's, uh, you, you have the impression that people are, are so uh, much involved in football. I mean, men, women, women, uh, whatever. So they are, they are thinking in these terms of competition. This is better than that. This is good than that. This is it's so so tiring, and it is not true. It's so so. But we have no other model. I mean, for uh, to replace this with a, a different and better one, and we are somehow uh, doomed. <laughs> yes, we are. We, we are. We are forced to live in this model. I mean, there is a competition, all the time a competition. Well, not really. He's, well, the actors know him. I mean, the professionals from cinema and theatre knows him, but uh, the, the audience, the, the, the common audience, they don't really know him. And he's uh, playing, he's working in uh, his uh, town, in Târgu Mureș, which is a town in, uh, uh, in Transylvania. It's half Hungarian, half Romanian, this town. Um, at this theater in Târgu Mureș. So there he is very well known, but not in Bucharest. And the, we don't really communicate. I mean, Bucharest, Timisoara, Yash, so these towns, right? Sorry, but he was very, very, very funny because I. The script was uh, written for um, not for somebody coming from Transylvania. If there is a problem I had, and you cannot uh, notice because you don't speak Romanian. But otherwise, uh, uh, for us, uh, for Romanian e e 
ears it's uh, it sounds it could have sound bizarre having this his character uh, speaking Romanian with his accent from Transylvania in Bucharest doesn't really work for somebody in Bucharest you know for 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 some somebody like me so I m made a lot of uh, I, I, I modified the script somehow and I build up this uh, um, I worked out this his origin Transylvania married with a Hungarian woman and so on but uh, I as soon as I I wanted in fact after I finished the script I wanted to to propose him this and I was it was it seemed to me too really really too complicated to, to work out this his accent but it was a wrong uh, uh, I was wrong because it wasn't about his accent. Yeah, it was about the script. I make this uh, some some auditions with four other actors, and I decided to 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 choose him and to mm, modify the script and to, to have him in the in the film. But it wasn't easy at all because we had uh, 39 nights of shootings, and he yeah. has he's now he will be uh, on the 19th of November. He will be 68. Yeah, we, we, we changed it because at the, at the beginning was uh, the character Lazarescu was born uh, on the 22nd of November because I wanted to choose a, uh, a limit between Scorpio and Sagittarius. You know, so I, I like the Scorpios usually. I, I, I like the Scorpios because they, they have a very special relation with death and with disappearance, with all these things. And uh, I find out that he was a Scorpio, and so I decided to keep the 19th of November. His and that phone number from Turgumush from his sister is his phone number at home, and so on. Lots of uh, similarities. I also asked my father and my mother to play a part in the film. They are there at this hospital in um, uh, there is this couple who uh, want to uh, um, uh, celebrate the anniversary of the 40 years uh, marriage anniversary. It's my mother and my father. Now I have some things at the beginning of the film uh, when he's uh, going to to uh, ask for some um, medicines as the neighbors from some medicines. There are some. There, there, there are two girls who are uh, 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 yeah going up, and there is uh, uh, a woman and a girl uh, uh, going down. It's my wife and my uh, daughter, Smaranda, and. Uh, so I was. It's not like you know uh, imitating Casavetes somehow, you know, because it's my favorite uh, film director. So it was a sort of homage, uh, very well. Uh, I hope uh, hidden. <laughs> but uh, it's uh, no, it's it. But with him was uh, difficult because of uh, with n and not just with him with. Uh, almost all all the actors was difficult was difficult uh, because it's uh, very hard to uh, we make like eight films per year they are used to uh, uh, work in theater so it's very hard to f uh, to you know to to step forward and to think different not in terms of theater and audience but in terms of cinema and uh, so it uh, was was not so easy, and but was easy with Luminita, the the, the actress who uh, is uh, playing this uh, the, the nurse from the ambulance. With her was very easy because he, she's she's uh, she's very uh, I don't know she fits so you know, to, to, to the idea I have about cinema in general. So with her was really really easy. I was helped a lot by her, by everybody in fact. But she was uh, helping a lot because uh, actually she used to play. She played a part in Codan uh, Connu, uh, the film of Haneke. Mm -hmm. So oh, she's very professional. She's very good. Uh, we, we released the film already in Romania. Mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, a month ago, 
and we had a, a lot of very different uh, reactions. One of them uh, said, well, the doctors are not so bad as you portrayed them. And others said, well, the doctors are not so good, so nice as you portrayed them. You have to see, I have to listen to my story, what they did to my mother, to my father, sister, granny, etc. And some of them said, well, it's uh, like in real life. I was very happy but, uh, to, to notice that lots of um, doctors and uh, uh, people working in this healthcare system uh, uh, find it really, I mean, very good from this point of view, I mean, very, very real. But in fact, uh, the best reactions uh, were I, I, I got coming from, the, uh, from those who are involved in cinema. In fact, but it's, I mean, uh, it was not about, uh, it was not about cinema, it was about, not about, it's not, not, well, not about the health care system, it was also about this, because it is important, it is, it is imp impossible to tell a story of, a, of an individual who is living in a community uh, without uh, uh, being critical somehow, uh, without having getting this political dimension and so on it was a story of a man uh, uh, of, of a patient so you have also the hospitals and the doctors so you decide to be or not critical well I decided to be critical about this I decided to in fact uh, I will quote Flaubert Madame Bovary c'est moi but the doctors uh, I mean I am the doctors I am behaving like this. There is something of uh, me in in every doctor. And anyway, because yeah, because it's uh, it's uh, I'm very critical about me. I'm I found this uh, uh, pretext, this story for telling something more about me and to be more critical about me. But this it is like it is like this. And. Um, uh, the, the I said, as I said, the best reactions, the, the reactions I was waiting for, were coming from uh, these uh, people who are in cinema. I mean, if they are critics or filmmakers, uh, uh, actors. Uh, I mean, uh, understanding that this film is about the death of a of an anonymous person. It was about the extinction, the progressive um, fade out, and uh, this is very, very important for for me. I, I think. I mean, I was lucky with with this film. I was very lucky because the beginning uh, uh, last year, when I asked for money from the state, they didn't give me money from for, for making the film, and I was, I had to. Uh, to fight a lot for, for uh, receiving this subvention from the National Center of Cinema in Bucharest. Uh, and we m m made the film in, um, was a record, like, you know, in six months. Uh, we started the pre-production on uh, the 4th of October and we ended the film. Uh, I mean, I received the answer. I was called by Christian Jeune in Cannes on the 6th of April and he was telling me that the film was selected in Nassau Garo six months. During these six months we did everything, I mean, without the script. I, we had the, the script already uh, written. But um, was, uh, so was, for, for, for me it was uh, it's m much more than, than, uh, than this. Is uh, I'm, I'm really surprised to notice that I was so lucky at the end. Because the film was selected in Cannes, uh, and uh, I received the prize, and uh, the film will be distributed some outside Romania, and I received from then uh, up to now like something like twenty international prizes. This is a lot. I think it's a record in Romania too. This one, and that what I what I really hope is to have the film uh, distributed and to. Uh, From the beginning, it was a very hard project because uh, because of the length, because of the title, because of the fact that it's a Romanian film, 
because of the fact that it's about uh, an old man who's dying, Mr. Lazarescu, the death of Mr. Lazarescu would have been a uh, detective story, which is not. So there are lots of, uh, how to say, obstacles that the, the audience will encounter. Uh, I hope people will, will go and see this film because I think uh, uh, it's rewarding, after all, in the end, when the film is finished. Even, even if you... Even if even even if you if you uh, don't agree with this uh, kind of pessimistic or black uh, uh, vision, uh, I think it's rewarding because it makes you think about this. I mean, about this the, the fact that uh, you will die and you will die alone, baby.